So the first thing that we're going to do, yeah. or rather the seven things that we're going to do, this is our practice group. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to troubleshoot. We're going to look at troubleshooting the syllabus. So this means that anything that comes from your foundation manuals, anything that's a problem for you with that work, I'm going to say, for example, okay, so do you have a problem with the brain waves? Do you have any challenges with the chakras? Do you have any challenges with the energy fields? Is there any knowledge throughout the whole of the manual, as far as the manual is concerned mm -hmm. now, not so much the yeah. practical stuff, yeah. that is, uh, that's an issue for you? So that's the number one that we're going to look at in the first half an hour. In the second half an hour, we're going to look at self-help with intuitive reading. So do you find it a challenge to be able to look into yourself? Yeah. And I definitely know that there are times when I find that quite difficult. Yeah. Especially if I'm, um, if I'm in a panic. Yeah. If something has panicked me, if something, you just lose it, right? Or um, like the other day when I was sick, I was taking like medication. That's what made me sick. And I panicked. I did. I panicked. And I was like, when I tried to connect to me, I couldn't see what to do, what not to do. So we're going to troubleshoot those areas too. Because a lot of us do have trouble with being able to see into the self. You yeah? Believe, you believe that medication was made to be foggy? Definitely, yes. definitely. I'm not saying that is for everybody, but it definitely affected me. Yeah. yeah. Everybody, all the people, maybe are not Yeah. Well, there's that as well. Yeah. But I mean, if you're quite intuitive, and then you're usually good at what you're doing, and then you can't, then you've got to figure out what's blocking you from doing it. You know. So that's the um, the self help with our intuitive readings. Okay. The third exercise that we're going to do is sharpening our intuitive skills. Sharpening our intuitive skills, okay? So, um, sharpening? sharpening, to make more clear, oh. to upgrade our intuition, oh. yeah? Okay, so that's what we're going to do with that. That's number three. Number four is Q&A, so questions and answers about symbols and dreams, because, right, because a lot of people who ask for our help, they come to us, yeah, and they're like, oh my God, what does this mean? What does that mean? Or our own dreams, or we come across symbols and we don't know what it means. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't mean the same thing for everybody. For each person, it's completely different. That this is why I don't agree with Onyrogridis, which is the, the dream books where you look inside the book to find out about your dreams. Because it's not the same for everyone. Yeah. For example, one person might dream about, I don't know, a snake. And for one person that could be because they're being psychically attacked. And for another person it could mean wisdom. God yeah. So it could be any of these things. No, uh, uh, I... You look like a doctor now. I am, okay. <laughs> I am uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, yeah. a condition when you get a little bit into me. I don't have to wear something. Yeah. I am okay with that condition. No, get some Well, I just turned it up a little bit too because it's suddenly. Yes, I feel more grassy under there, isn't it? It's getting cooler now, right? So um, that's what we're going to do. Then the next thing we're going to upgrade with is being able to multitask a fusion wow. seven healing process. How do I multitask? Okay. So that means being able to open many windows and letting it all work at the same time, right? Yeah. Like windows yeah. on your PC, exactly. do you know what I mean? Okay, and then the next upgrade we're going to do is intuitive reception with eyes open, not eyes closed. Eyes open, yeah? So that's going to be a real interesting one to do too. I, I am trying, funny enough to say that, I'm trying to connect without closing my eyes anymore and see it while, because sometimes... In the waking have, state, yeah. We have no half time to do it, and then I do it just yeah. where I am. For me, it kind of happens like a combination of both, you know. Sometimes 
the the intuitive um, data it just boom 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 it just comes and then other times I just need to go inside a little bit inside a little bit but if you're not used to doing that we're gonna upgrade a little bit so that we can get used to doing that it doesn't mean you must do it this way it's just a technique to, de to develop because as Alejandra said maybe there's a situation where you can't close your eyes and you need to receive data about something you know yeah. Yeah. so it's an important skill to develop so that's part of our upgrading process yeah um, and if we have time this is I don't know if it's gonna happen if we have time we might look at Merkava but that's quite that's quite a lot of stuff yeah so let's see how it goes that's it. okay so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to officially open, yeah, and we're going to play the Epsilon portal to sort of connect us and get us in the mode. Okay, so you guys ready?